So the way this is going to work, um, the schedule grid is over on this little half wall, um, and we're going to do we're going to do sessions that are um, fifty minutes long with ten minutes in between to give time to move around, and um, that does mean that we're going to end up going a little bit later than we had originally put on the schedule. So I hope it's okay with everybody. Basically till six. Um, that also means that it'll be about eight degrees colder outside when you leave. So uh, that's, I think that's a, that's a good thing. Um, so if um, this, is, this, is, this is where the, the chaos starts, we're going to um, we're gonna all stand up and move over to that area and kind of cluster in front of the whiteboard. And then the way this works is if you have an idea for what you want to talk about, uh, what you want to lead a session on or see a session on, um, there's giant sticky notes over there and Sharpies. So write down the name of the session uh, and pick one of the words to turn it into a hashtag so that, or make a new hashtag so we have a URL to use for notes and uh, for the wiki links and all that. Um, and put your name on it as well uh, so that we know who is responsible for that session. And we'll just kind of go, uh, go around and have everybody give a quick uh, description of the session they want to they want to lead. So we have we're doing this until 2 p.m. and we're going to start the first session at 2. So hopefully 18 minutes is enough for that. I think we can do it. Um, and uh, am I forgetting anything, Tonta? Is that three things? Name of the session. Hashtag your name. <laughs> well, hello. And if you're if you're running a session, we ask that you uh, help with uh, creating an Etherpad for it. Although you might get some help from the folks on IRC once the sessions are put in the schedule, and they either you take notes or you designate someone to take notes or encourage everyone to take notes in the Etherpad for the session. We have found that. The sessions that take notes are the ones that provide the most value, not just to everyone that was in the session, because when you go back to it, and you're like, what was that thing I was heard about? But to everyone else in the community and the people online and separate as well. And, and, and those are the technologies and stuff that get, and the user features and all that, they get developed. The sessions that don't have notes, we don't know. It's sort of like those web pages you go to and they're blank. You know? I didn't say it. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll um, when you're when you're describing your session, you need to use a microphone. I guess this one that I'm holding because this one isn't on. Um, so, with that, uh, let's all stand up and wander over there. You can, you can lead a session without, uh, so the, the question was if you don't want to lead a session but you want to see a session, what can you do? The, uh, the answer is it's okay to lead a session if you don't want to, even if you're not sort of the authoritative uh, person on the matter. So you can still lead a session if you want to learn about something uh, it, and uh, otherwise you're welcome to uh, find out if anybody else wants to lead that. But it's totally okay to lead a session if you're not an expert on the topic. <laughs> uh, there are, there should be some. All right, let's. Uh, Shall we? Okay. Okay. I have a, created a web, new website that has currently three words on it, and I'd like your help to complete it. Um, it's called Indie Tech Rocks. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to list all sorts of products that we could use that don't screw us. 
And I don't mean just any uh, not uh, just indie web technologies, but a little bit broader, like a Nest thermostat that doesn't spy on us or something like that. You know, all these kinds of things. I think it would be cool if we could go somewhere whenever we buy something new and say, what does everybody know that exists that doesn't screw us? And let's look there first. And um, I set up a basically a GitHub site. Um, it's very easy. Everybody can su submit pull requests. And I'd like to just come up with the first set of uh, products to put there. And I'd like to do a sessions about that. And we just put them up in the middle for now, or, in, or we put them up in a slot? If it, that's not sticky, though. Battery's dead. Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Okay, so. So. Figure it out. Okay. Should I go? So mine's called the Indie Web for Hardware. My project at Google is the physical web, which is using Bluetooth beacons to broadcast URLs so you can find anything around you in space. It's a, gr it's a great open source, uh, decentralized, federated method. And at this point, it's now kind of being mothballed at Google because we discovered all sorts of really scary, crazy things about what it means to find anything in any place. And it actually has a strong correlation to the Indie Web, especially if we can come up with reputation systems so that we can rank sites. So I thought it'd be an interesting topic to say, can the Indie Web help us with reputation systems? So I have one called the uh, FedWiki Quick Start. FedWiki is pretty easy, but it's hard to do it because you have this blank page syndrome. And so I thought getting a few people past the blank page, and I said, with your laptop or mine, uh, we can make one that you can have later. And uh, I'm not sure how big it'll be, but I think I'll uh, I think I'll put us. So you're suggesting I don't run opposite that? Yeah. I'll put it right there. Um, I, this is, I guess, connected to the, uh, the web page I, I showed in my intro. Uh, I have what conditions make for effective collaboration. So I'd like to have a little discussion around like what websites or web communities lead to people collaborating effectively and what are the common uh, themes that we see in those. Uh, I'm interested in keeping track of uh, books that I read and my reading progress. So my session is reading posts. I'd like our uh, indie websites to be able to talk to Mastodon, Canoe Social, Friendica, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, you know, how far are we? Could we make that happen? So, one thing that we talked about yesterday at the, we, a bunch of us leaders held a mini leaders summit is we talked about can we do a refresh of indieweb.org? We did a big refresh in 2014. Uh, I think it's time, uh, some of the presentations you saw, to do another refresh. And so this is kind of a brainstorming session to see if we come up with some sort of consensus on refreshing the home page of the site focused on generation two. So for a while, we've been sort of like generation one initially, one and a half. I think it's time that we can focus it on generation two and then maybe provide pointers 
for generation one folks, because uh, developers tend to find their way no matter what, uh, as well as perhaps some pointers for generation three folks that may have heard about it from press articles or other blogs that they're reading, and are curious and maybe want to dip their toe in the water somewhere. Uh, but, they're not, but they're not ready to buy a domain or necessarily like set up a website. So this is indieweb.org refresh, hashtag refresh, uh, for generation two. So can I get a quick show of hands to see who would be interested in that? OK, a bunch of people. All right, I'll pick the big room. Um, so I just want to look at pretty personal websites. Um, and because I think that personal website layouts have been kind of changing a lot over the past couple of years. And I feel like it's hard to do it by yourself. So I'd like to do it with some other people and just look at some pretty websites. Pretty much that's it. Uh, I'm interested in sort of specialized micropub clients. So uh, clients that would be used, say, for posting books that you've read or clients for food or sort of uh, more edge case uses rather than just text posts. Um, so I think you'd sort of look at ones that exist what, and brainstorm what future ones could uh, would be nice to have in the future. Uh, so I think I'll try and get it to not clash with the reading posts. Um, Siri, what's Tantec doing? So I want to uh, talk about bridging the indie web with audio interfaces. How can we um, make the move into ambient computing and use our websites as data sources? I'll work on it. Maybe I need a helper. OK, well, since I've been working on location, I figured I would come up with the optional location, location, location. Yeah. OK, well, here, you can hold that. So I figured I would come up with a location topic. So it is location, location, and hashtag location. Uh, I don't know where that belongs. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, I'll just put it down here at the bottom. There we are. So that would be check-ins, location posts, etc. Uh, anything in that area. And then, of course, because I figured there should be an obligatory WordPress thing for me, I don't have a topic, so it's WordPress shrug. I don't know where that goes. So. Hashtag, WordPress dash shrug. Don't put it in the Uh well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> then I'm conflicting with myself. <laughs> three. 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 three? Yeah. Oh, I want to go to reading post. Yeah, me too. Okay. Well. Main room at two. Main room at two. Okay. WordPress shrug. Okay. If someone's gonna do We don't have an announcement to make. <laughs> He's just grumbling. <laughs> He's just thinking through his mouth. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Thinking out. So, so then I get a, then I think I throw my mouth uh, throw my mouth uh, loud with the microphone. This whole analytics thing, I never thought about that. That is intriguing. Is anybody else intrigued and wants to think about what we could do with analytics in various kinds and you know big data? Sure, sure. Okay, who, who, 
Who is interested in, in analytics, big data, kind of this analysis that uh, Snarford was doing this morning? Okay, let's make a session. Announcers before you post it. Uh, that was analytics. Okay. Um, indie events because it was just requested, and I was thinking of putting that up too. So making them, finding them, RSVPing. Anything else, Lily? Do you want to co-lead this one? Uh, probably Pasos. Pasos pesos. Okay. All right, so I've written about it a couple times, but I'm really interested in the notion of putting it all hashtag together, uh, the user experience of consumption and consuming content, interacting with content, and creating content. So putting that all together into one cohesive experience. We have all these building blocks, and I think it'd be cool if we started to be able to actually assemble them into a little you know, units. I'm not sure if anybody else is interested in that topic. Raise your hand if you're interested. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. I think, I think it's okay if we have one gap. We can fill it in later or as we go or move things around to, to fill. Uh, the one question I have is, so the three breakout rooms are approximately the same size and same capabilities. The only different room is uh, this big one. So just let's get a quick sense of um, the four that are in the big room. Do people think that there are enough? Um, should we switch with anything else? Are there any ones in the rest that might have a bigger uh, group attending that would need the big room, um, and that's gonna be the last step of this. So I don't know how we can do this efficiently, but. Um, uh, okay, so start with WordPress shrug. That, I think that's about the. Effective collaboration. Less MicroPub client. Okay, so, great. Uh, Indie web for hardware. Small. That one might need. That one might be better in a smaller room. UX. Okay. Slightly more. Indie events. That one looks bigger. And reading posts. That one also looks bigger. Let's take reading posts into the big one. Okay. All right, uh, analytics.
Oh, it's not a spridge. Okay. Fedwiki quick start. Personal website layouts. I think that one's the biggest one. Should we do that? Okay. And indieweb.org uh, website refresh. Location, location, location. Yep. And Siri, Indie Siri. Those all seem about the same size. Yeah, seems like similar. Yep. All right. Great. Um, hmm. I guess that's, that's a lot. That's a. Uh, okay. Is it so? Looking at the schedule, does everybody have have a plan for what they're going to go to? I don't see any easy solutions. That's about that many cloud points. So yep. try to pick one. If, if partway through you're you want to pick another one, uh, everything is recorded. Yep. Um, leaders of sessions, please get to your rooms and start to set up the Etherpad for taking notes. That's your that's your working orders. When you've got that set up, um, I'm going to be coming around and making sure the recording has started up. Etherpad.indieweb.org slash your hashtag. Emerging, huh? 